What's up, everybody? This is Dez from Devil Driver on Napalm Records, and I want to do a, a, a shout out to the record company right now, and uh, shout out to all of you guys. And I'm going to do a little track by track for you, okay? From my home tiki bar here in COVID country in the house. Here we go. So the first track we released was Keep Away From Me. That track uh, is, is, is really all about uh, my social distancing my whole life. So I suffer from agoraphobia. I have a hard time being in, in groups of people, uh, going to, to parties and to places, to big gatherings uh, with people that I don't know. I feel very uncomfortable. I know a lot of you can relate to this because I've heard about it on social media. You guys have talked about it with me and stuff, but I just want to do kind of a track by track rundown today and we'll start with Keep Away From Me. And that's what that song is about, is about uh, me social distancing my whole life uh, and feeling very comfortable with it, to be honest with you. I'm a very private person. I would say, you know, maybe one of the most private in this industry. So that's what that track is about. Keep away from me. Iona. Now, if you watch the video, you know it's a ghost story. And if you Google Iona, uh, in America, there's tons of stories about a woman that walks the lonely highway uh, and you'll see her in the back of the car, you'll see her in front of you, in back of you, and there's multiple stories of this. And um, this track is, is also to symbolize kind of our love for death as a culture and it's me questioning the demon of that because dealing with demons is confronting all sorts of demons, confronting my own demons, society's demons, and this is one of society's demons that I'm kind of confronting. Like, why are we so attracted to death. Now, keep in mind you're talking to a, a goth kid, a punk kid, a kid that just, you know, when I found Motorhead, I found metal, but otherwise I come from a, a goth background, so I get it. You know, I've had skulls and been wearing black shirts my, my whole life, but I do question uh, when you say to somebody, you know, what's your favorite movie? And they say, you know, Chainsaw Massacre. And, and I just say to myself, well, man, they plainly kill and skin, you know, 12, 15 women in that. Why, why is that your favorite movie? Or why do you need to get home from work so quick to watch murder porn TV, CSI, etc.? So Iona, the song Iona is me questioning why society is in that direction, why these are our favorite things, and really just talking points between people, you know, talking points between all of us as humanity. We go ahead and have, have some good conversation and open dialogue. That's what it's about. Iona. We're going to deal right now with Nest of Vipers. All right, what is that song about? First of all, it's the only um, song that I've co-written lyrically with a band member my whole life. Uh, I, I co-wrote it with uh, Neil, and he wrote some really good lyrics to that. And uh, that song is, is also questioning... Uh, like I said, dealing with demons is questioning my own demons, society's demons, bringing up dialogue uh, as humans we can all have. So Nest of Vipers is really about uh, questioning how loyalty uh, by men, for, for men and women can be bought and how easily loyalty can be bought in this culture, uh, in this day and age. And, you know, it's okay. I'm Italian, so I understand, you know, money often can buy loyalty in certain things but you know it's me questioning that it's me saying look let's have a dialogue about this let's have a dialogue about kind of keeping away from those kind of people keeping away from those kind of people in our in our personal life and in our social in our social life and in our business life uh, the people who can be bought with with money you got to really watch out uh, for those kind of people so that's what nest of vipers is about hope you guys are enjoying it I will lead you through darkness to that very Wishing. Um, well, in dealing with demons, we're dealing with my own demons, with society's demons. I'm confronting a bunch of things, and this is uh, wishing is is me confronting myself on on what it would be like if I didn't have uh, my best friend, my partner in life, who is my wife Anastasia Fafara. Right? So it's uh, been a, a best friend to me for for over 22, 23 years. Uh, my wife and uh, a, a counterpart in everything that we do, really. So wishing is is me talking about her maybe being gone, her being gone from my life. And the chorus, you know, wishing, wishing you were here. And, uh, you know, I hope that never happens. Uh, but, but she can feel the power of that song, and I hope you guys can too. Um, this is my first track that I've ever recorded. 
um, with Devil Driver with, with clean vocals. And you're gonna hear a lot of my goth background. I get up in the morning, I listen to Bauhaus and Sisters of Mercy, and I actually did an interview the other day where somebody said, what's my favorite metal band? And I said, Bauhaus, uh, kind of a, a play off of, you know, I listen to metal, but I tend to listen to a lot more goth music. So you guys are gonna get kind of a different form of what I do on this record. And I made a comment in, uh, I think it was 2001, 2002, that I would never do clean vocals uh, in Devil Driver. And what I meant by that actually was, you're never gonna hear real big, clean, pretty choruses to get on the radio. That's not my thing. Uh, but I tried to record this, this thing for hours and hours, man. Heavy lows, heavy highs, screamy. And the verses, nothing was coming out right until I uh, came out of the studio and came back in and told my producer, look, just let's do this. Hit record, let me do what I do. And I ended up laying the thing clean, and you can hear kind of, you know, my goth voice on this. And uh, yeah, it's it's a love song, you know. So for you ladies, it's a love song. And for you guys, I, you know, for you guys who have a long time relationship, you'll know exactly where I'm coming from. So enjoy wishing. Do or die. next track we're gonna go through is Vengeance is Clear. It's about revenge, man. You know, I, I do believe in life, taking the high road is a good thing. I do believe, you know, letting uh, water run off your back, man, is a good thing. Uh, but sometimes you have to just uh, have it in your heart to just sit around and wait and uh, vengeance and revenge will ultimately come. Either karma will come to somebody or eventually you'll have the time and the chance and the choice to possibly wreak havoc, wreak vengeance, and prove that vengeance is clear. And that's what this song is about, right? I believe in this, right? If you fuck with me, if you fuck with my family, it's a bad thing for you. And uh, if I can't get you now, I'm gonna get you later. That's, that's it, that's how I run my life. I'm a very spiritual cat. I tend to let a lot run off my back, run through my chest, man, and let it go. But yeah, there are some things in life that I hold on to, and, and for those things, I just wait. I wait for you, I wait for you and one day your time will come. That's what Vengeance is Clear is about. Look, I think we gotta have a little bit of that in our life, right? It's good to just kind of uh, let things go and ah, don't let people bother you and sticks and stones may break your bones. And I was raised with that just like you guys, but sometimes you have to take the upper hand and say, you know what, I'm putting it up here, I'm putting it up here and I'm waiting for you. There'll be a time, there'll be a time when you need me, there'll be a time. So that's what Vengeance is Clear about. That's a track by track rundown of everything that's uh, all the singles that are coming off dealing with demons on napalm record devil driver thanks you very much for getting behind us man we appreciate you we cannot wait to see you back on the road we hope you're all happy healthy and safe <laughs>